What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Kendra Curlis, and you guys are watching Kendra. <laughs> Always say that really weird. It's getting, it's a hard adjustment. Like, I'm getting used to it, though. All right, so if you guys haven't already, don't forget to thumbs up the vlog. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, also, comment down below your name and your channel if you're new. If you um, are a returning subscriber, you're just comment below hello or something. Say hi to me. Anyway, I have to come up with, I need to work on my routine, but yeah. <laughs> That's about it. All right. I'm having a pot pie for breakfast or whatever. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Yes, I went in today. I was late today. I got there at 7 a.m. She said she only had one job today, though. But So, uh, I wasn't the only person that didn't work. So, other people didn't work as well. I thought about doing a live, but I was like, ah, you guys aren't really attending a live or whatever. And if I'm going to talk to myself, I might as well just talk to myself and then upload it. So. Anyway, I have subscribers. So, technically, I'm not supposed to be talking to myself. There are viewers of me, but you know. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Your emotional support is a one. Thank you. I need that. But anyway, so my light always be going out of my camera. I've been going for a few days. Like I said, last vlog I didn't want to vlog. Um, I've been doing stuff like um. I went to two horseback ride lessons Tuesday and Wednesday, and that's what happened. Tuesday night, I couldn't catch my horse, and I felt kind of sad, but at the same time, I was like, you know, you don't work, you don't ride. So if you don't go out there and catch your horse, you can't ride. Um, I thought I was doing better at fitting in before I started doing the lessons, because I was doing volunteer, and I thought I was better at fitting in before I was doing the lessons. Because now that I'm doing the lessons, I'm not as strong of a rider as everybody else. If we do group lessons, it's hard to fit in because everybody wants to run and play in their lessons and I'm still weak on the horse so I still require your assistance you know so I'm scared like last night I had a horse that had a um, itchy spot on him he kept trying to scratch with his hoof his back hoof his belly right by his penis or whatever he kept trying to scratch it and so he was driving me nuts like I saw it earlier him doing it because I had went out to try to catch him earlier anyway I got there like five something because that bus is so wonky, I'll try to get there early so I don't be late. Because if, if if I catch the right bus, I'll get there at 7 or 5. If I catch the wrong bus, I'll get there at 6 or 5. And I was on that side of town anyway, so I got there like at 5 something. And I was like, I wanted to hang out a little bit just to see if I could catch the horse by myself. Um, but anyway, so I had saw earlier when he was in the pasture because I had went out there to try to catch him and try to talk to him. And he was moving his feet around a lot under him and kicking at his abdomen. And I was like, okay, he's itching. So when we ride, I'm going to have to make sure I put a lot of fly spray on him so that he doesn't, you know, like, drop me. So when I was doing and tacking up or whatever, I sprayed him thoroughly, like the top of his legs and everything. And I thought I sprayed his abdomen very well, but I guess I didn't spray it well enough because he was still kicking at it. So um, when we got out there, he had the saddle on and everything. He was still kicking at it and I got scared and I didn't want to be with him alone and so the instructor was with me and another girl that was right um, because she was acting kind of timid about her lessons as well and she was really good at like going to catch her own horse so I was kind of surprised I was like wow she doesn't want to get on the horse and I was just looking at her like I was I was walking around with the instructor and I was trying to like build my own confidence to say okay I walk by myself but it wasn't going well and um well it was going well but I wasn't there yet. I was like, I can lead a little bit, you know, because I remember stuff in my son's lesson. And, um, but I didn't say anything because I was still scared of horses when I was stupid. And, you know, like, I was stopping Clifford. The first lesson I had, I was stopping Clifford and moving Clifford by myself. And then he just got stubborn. He didn't want to work anymore. Um, and I didn't have like, a lead or anything like that. But this night, because he was itching, like, I was really scared. And that was last night. I was really scared and I didn't want her to leave me. So, I didn't do anything, but the other girl didn't want to get on her horse, and I was like, okay, so we need help. With us in the lesson, we need help, because I need help, and she needs help, because she can't get on horse by herself, and then, um, not only that, she's timid on a horse she's on, too. So, I was like, okay, wow, so we are hindrance in the lessons or whatever, so, it just made me see, like, how people see me, like, you know, 
So that's what I do. But I said, before I start coming here, I wrote it six times. Before. And then here I've only written twice. I've had three lessons, but I only wrote twice. Because one of the times I couldn't catch my words, so I couldn't work. And everybody was out in the field or whatever. So, so that's what happened. I wasted a whole lesson. Because I was out there trying to catch a horse and I was scared of going to school at night. It was dark. So. For me, the whole thing about getting there early is so that I can beat the sun going down. Whatever. And the mosquitoes are horrible. <laughs> they be biting on me here. You know, that's what happened. I went to the pumpkin patch Tuesday morning and I filmed it and then I broke my phone. So yeah, and I couldn't get the footage off the phone. And I was backing up my photos and then I turned back up photos off because I had photos on everything because it was on my drive. And it was killing my storage space and I had to turn it off. So I had videos all the way up until Tuesday morning. Which means everything I filmed at the public park shoot the morning, I can't get. No, nothing. Was it, but anything I stored on my drive, like any screenshots, like a lease agreement or anything I took pictures of, it's on my drive. Like I can get to it, but I can't get to my pumpkin patch footage. It started with a crack over here and it just spread. Can't answer, can't open it, can't do nothing. And it's stuck and do not disturb because the light broke. So, I don't know. I went to the place where I got it from every morning. And the people aren't there. So, I don't know how long it's going to be before I catch them. You know. So, it's like, Tuesday, everything changed for me. I woke up that morning. I went and got my bus passes. I, like, I came here at 8. I went and got my bus passes. I went to the library, milled around too long, completely missed my appointment, and the lady wouldn't talk to me more. That was my job interview. So I missed my job interview by 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. It was at 10. I thought it was at 11. So I started on 10.36 to get into it. I thought it was early. 30 minutes late. It was from 10 to 10.30. So I didn't get the after school care job. It was $17 an hour. I'm so tired of trying to work for me. <laughs> I always told, look, at first, when I got here, I knew I was going to have to buy income. So I was buying income, and everybody was trying to lowball me under $17 an hour. So I finally gave up. Then this lady, she offered me seventeen dollars an hour, but sixteen hours a day. And I'm like, usually jobs like this pay twenty dollars an hour, twenty five. Because that's what we're doing. No one pay, no one pay. But that's the interview I mean. So buy me has whatever. Yeah, you do. But he didn't have to work on my phone. He didn't have to take my lifeline for me. He had to fuck me over. By the time I left the pumpkin patch, I was like totally screwed. I was at the store and I was like, damn. I don't know what we want. But, wow. You know what I'm saying? Why well, I can't use my phone anymore. And I was like, I'm not going to go crazy because I know I can get another phone or something. But damn. Since I've been here, I have like ruined everything. I don't have my iPhone anymore because I sold it to pay those application fees and do that stuff I need to do to get the apartment. I got an apartment. I moved out too early. I should have staggered it. I should have waited. I should have said, well, I'll buy the appliances and put me in there. I could have said anything, but it's not how I would owe him money if I was up there and I didn't sit there. So I don't know how things are going to go, and I don't care. But I applied to the Lord and everything, so that's just I need it. But I just don't like the idea of him getting free money, and he needed to lose it. Because he left all those dirty appliances in there. He left all that trash out in the front. He didn't cut the bad grass. He didn't clean anything out there. It's like... He did the bare minimum to get $2,400, and they actually pay him $2,400. And it doesn't pass inspection anywhere. 
that refrigerator and that stove in that bathroom have to be on on point. You would think it passes inspection, but I'm not dealing with housing though. So, but anyway, yeah, I need some money. Anyway, so that's the new with me. Listen with you guys. <laughs> these things, these live things, and these chat with us, they always seem like we're playing, but it really is just we need to talk, we need to vent, whatever, we need to get it out. So that's what I'm doing. Today is Wednesday morning after my last one last night. Bro, I sat up, I put one foot, he has shoes on the front. He went and lifted feet for me. I was like, okay. I mean, he stood into it. He was like leaning into it like I'm not moving. And I kept trying to pull it up and he wanted to pull it. I said, okay, I'm not strong enough for this well, but you fight me, so we got to do it. I tied up wrong because I put my bridle on wrong. I put my horse on wrong. Oh my, oh my God. Everything, I was a like a bundle of nerves last night. Everything that I could do wrong, I did wrong. <laughs> but I was trying to work through it. I was like, ain't no way in hell. I do this every day and I'm messing up this much. I think I was just so scared because mm, Tuesday I didn't get the horse at all and I didn't ride it off. And then I came back trying to relieve myself and I just felt so uncomfortable. I'm like, stressed. And then once I got the horse, I was nervous. Like, I was happy that I got the horse, but I was nervous. I don't know. Horse that riding. Fun, but hard. Because I'm trying to learn how to take care of a horse and how to work on a farm and take a lesson. And most people don't do that. They just do one of those. Actually, I'm kidding. Most people don't care. They just take their lesson in the barn. They pay for it in the mom, but when you're a assistant or you volunteer, you don't want to be like so new to it because that's what I'm learning. Because it always feels like you're a burden more than a help, but I do whatever I'm told, and I try to jump in here and there, and it's a lot of cleaning work that I do, like. Sweeping, uh, sweeping out the bathroom, sweeping out the barn, um, sweeping up around the hay, organizing the girls, like sweeping out the tack room, um, cleaning out um, stalls with people, which I don't like to do this work. Um, checking the laundry rooms, checking the fly mask room, folding up stuff and putting it away, sweeping out the fly mask room. So. Stuff like that. Picking up the sticks out there, um, arena areas. Getting equipment that people left out there in the arena. This type of stuff I do. I try to get in on a few days every now and then. Mainly, some of the horses have to have wet food, some of the horses have to have dry food. So, I'll be trying to remember, like, who gets wet. I know Clifford, the horse I ride, gets two. He gets one at a time, so I can see how much he is. Now, um, yeah, it's no reason for you to know all that. But the point is that I'll be trying to remember routine stuff so I can keep up with the work that everybody else is doing. So, like, if I see them grab food for, and I wish I knew how it worked. I know it's something called spirilla. That's like a white powder you don't want to put or something like that. You don't want to put that in the two green buckets in the middle. So I was leave them alone to get the dry ones that's clear and put them in there. That's what I'm starting to do. Like, try to remember stuff like that. I just want to get in on all this. Because if it was my horse, I would want to know how to take care of it. Anytime I think about, I always look. I got this look just now. I always look in the other building too. Y'all ate some of the salt. I'm drunk. Oh, 
My aunt has ripples. You see it? I'm killing myself. I don't know how to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. My arm is messed up right here. I need to stop. It feels funny under my skin. I'm gonna tell you, my stuff underneath my skin feels funny. So. Oh my God. It is so dry. So how do you look? I feel like it's a bitch in my forehead. <laughs> I thought, oh, goodness. I spit in a stare. I smell so salty this morning when I woke up. I was sweaty. I smell like salt. <laughs> salt water. Something stinky, right? You know, salty shit. I was like, oh, you can't eat like that no more. I ain't showing salt yesterday. It's ridiculous. But I mix it with black pepper. So I don't get sick like these smells and stuff like that. I just smell different. You know, my skin is like dry. Of course, it dries you out. I don't know how you like that. Can you imagine if I was a drug? I'd be good. Because it's free. That's why I only use salt and pepper packs. I was like, if I had to pay for it, I wouldn't eat it. So I get a free salt and pepper. And then I think, well, I pay for it. If I pay for it, then I throw up. Because it's, it's something different about salt in a canister versus those packets. Like, this is drier, and that's like a different taste. And it makes me numb for it. Not too good, but I'll puke. These are less like they throw up. Mm -hmm. This is so funny. I've always had a lot going on with me. I'm almost done, by the way. Back in 2018, I started eating salt because I couldn't have, like, I lost my food stamp card. I left with my kids or whatever. just disappeared and I had, like, $1,200 on it. But anyway, I lost them. And I could not eat because I was not working. My computer was gone. I robbed my house and took all my shit, and my computer that I had with me was gone. I had my work stuff on it. The other computers had my work stuff on it too. From my LLC that I used to work. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. 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 I don't know And hot water, I remember because I couldn't stand water for some reason. I used to fill my cup over, like the big sister cups, the polar hot cups. I used to fill it with ice and get hot water out of the coffee cup to put it in there for whatever reason. Because it didn't taste any better, I just wanted to be clean. And I used to get a whole bunch of salt and pepper packets. I would eat salt and pepper and drink cold water. <laughs> and it used to make my stomach hurt and give, my, give me gas. And I, I was like, well, that feels cool. And then my mouth felt like I ate something because it had the taste of the spice in it. So I was like, there I ate. <laughs> and I used to eat a lot of fruit off the trees. We had a lot of fruit trees. And I started doing that because I had to eat. And people used to be all like, I said to the white people, and I'm like, no, I ain't doing that. So I eat the salt and pepper, but I ain't having sex with the white people. <laughs> it's just something I don't understand. Just, I don't get it. Like, why would you even tell somebody how to say white people? I don't make sense. It's so rude. It's racist for one because you're calling them white people. And you're not saying who they are. Like, who's white people? <laughs> you know, like, you're not saying who they are. And so, it's just so, it's rude. And this other guy, when I started working, he's trying to me to drink. I was like, I drink one of these little 50 cent beer things. And after a while, I got tired of that, too. I'm like, what the, what, you know what I'm saying? Stop influencing me, please. I'm picking up bad habits from you. The one that stuck, though, salt and pepper. Drinking it instead. But anyway, when I'm picking up, today is Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going to do anything vlog worthy or not. But I'm starting to use my laptop again because my phone is broke. So the video is going to be a lot clearer, a lot steadier now. And I'm going to film more. I just don't know what I'm going to do today. I thought about going back to the pumpkin patch, but I just don't want to go. 
But anyway. Um, it's early morning. The time is 9.45 a.m. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. And we're going to call this a fake live. Because <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you guys. And I'm going to hit you up later, hopefully, tonight with a real video. But yeah, so just to wrap up. I didn't go to yoga Tuesday. I went to a place that ride last night. I didn't ride, so I might as well have to do yoga. Um, I went riding last night and I actually did ride. That was my original riding day and I actually did ride because I went out a little bit earlier. Tonight is a yoga night, so I'm going to yoga. Um, I'm going back and forth with the rest of that riding thing. I get better, I get worse, I get better, I get worse. It's like some days are good, some days are bad. Some days I feel strong, some days I don't. Uh, like I said, I went to feel a couple times by myself just stood there. I'm like trying to build my strength up to my courage up. Messing with my emotional self, my emotional self, trying to be braver than I usually am, but um, it's not really working. The thing about me is, is that I need somebody out there with me so I can feel more confident. Even if they don't walk with me, them being there just makes me feel better. Cause I know that you're not gonna let me die, and if they attack me, you're gonna help me out. At least I feel like that. I want to think that that's the truth. So I really like seeing a friend, somebody who's so willing to walk with me when I do whatever I do. Cause if you go with me, then I'll go do what I gotta do. But if I'm by myself, I can't do that. So, I'm going to sort out. I'm going to ask him that. Because I put the divider in, the, the, the dividing gate in, I closed it. So that I could have just three horses over here and I have to get, I have to worry about Clifford running back and forth when I try to catch him. And then I didn't go open it. And she got upset. She was like, don't close the gate because they can't get to the food and they can't move freely if they want to. And she was like, who did it? And I didn't say anything. And she started yelling. And I was like, oh my God, I would just go open it. And I did not want to go open it because I didn't want to go in there with them moving around, but I did go in there and open it. But I was like, I'm so scared. Like, I got half a tip down. I was like, girl, I'm so scared this fucking horse man by this gate. But I did manage it. So it's like, why do you have to be afraid of getting in trouble or in trouble for you to complete a task? That makes sense. But at the same time, fear is immobilizing, so it does that. So you need something to cause you to go for it. Anyways, that's it. That's what happened Tuesday and Wednesday. Not today, it's Thursday. It's not Wednesday morning. It's Thursday morning. <laughs> Good grief. Where am I? It's Thursday morning, October 24th, and it's 9 for the 8. I'll talk to you guys later on tonight.